So what I want to ask is, what does Tracy Martin think of Sereno? Does he think, oh my god, I, I fucked up. I got this whole ball rolling about the the racist police and the uh, covering up for George. I can get in the lawyers and get in the spin doctors and get in this whole ball rolling. And I was wrong. Does he do that? Is he coming out and saying that? I don't even bother looking. Right? I don't know what he's saying. <laughs> but somehow I doubt he's going to come out and say that. Somehow he's going to doubt that this going to happen. I don't think, I don't see that happening for some reason. Hmm. I don't know. Something just tells me that. Right? Because there ain't no doubt. Sereno had his back. Sereno had his back from day one here, it seems. Now, what's the reason? What's the why? Well, we'll probably never know. I'd like to hear Chief Bill Lee come out, because he probably knows. I think my I think Sereno was pissed. Sereno was pissed that he was put into the position of being the one now responsible for the for the for the uh, police department's image in regards to interracial relations. Yes. I think that's it. I think he's pissed now because he's been put in that position and he's responsible for it. I mean, his comments just speak to that. I think there's enough in his interrogation to indicate that there may be something else, a little more going on behind Sereno's intention to want George arrested. It doesn't. It seems like a, it's a little more than where the evidence is taking him. It seems a little bit more than actual investigation. It seems to me motivation for him being pissed about being put in that position. <laughs> Could be wrong, but if you look at these. These just from here, it seems to me, especially that last one, right? Do you realize the way these cases can go? Well, what cases? It's over 15,000 homicides a year in this country. I think it's those those interracial ones uh, that really go, go where? Oh, go in the media. Yeah, this one really went that way, didn't it, Sereno? <laughs> It certainly did. Of course, nobody focused on him. They not really. Yeah, he's free and clear, isn't he? I mean, all all anybody has to do is listen to that interrogation. See, he's free and clear now. So any cover up or racism must be higher up, huh? I mean, it must be. Well, we went over Chief Bill Lee. We went over him. They already gave the reason why they let him go. Lack of trust and respect from the community. Hmm. Interesting. As I said, trust and respect is an effect of something. You understand? Trust and respect is a re an effect of something. So what was that something about what did he do that lost him the respect and trust? He had to have done something. But there was no something given at all. And like I said, they can't go back now. They can't go back and say, oh, it was because he covered up or acted with indifference or anything like that. Because if they did, then that would mean that they knew about it all this time and they themselves didn't do anything. The new prosecutor, the governor, all them. Right? The uh, state's attorney and uh, general attorney, Bondi, all them. They would have to know about it, and they said nothing about it. So, th they can't do that. So, then it wasn't him. Who was it? Well, was it the uh, prosecutor Wolfing Wolfinger? Well, wh what's become of him? He's still a prosecutor, isn't he? No action's been taken on him. So, if if that's all the case, then, if there was nothing nefarious going on, then why why has it been turned over to a new prosecutor? You see, we're still left with the same questions. We have the appearance of an answer, right? An appearance of one that many people cannot uh, see beyond that, and they just take it for that, right? <laughs> the masses, they're just like, oh, yeah, they got rid of that cracker, and oh, they got rid of that cracker Chief Lee. 
Right, right, because he was covering up, right? Oh, wait, no, that's that's not what they said. That's not what they said. <laughs> My other question about Sereno is, what? It, I thought the most interesting thing, and it may be nothing, I mean, because they included it in the calls, they cl included it in, in the discovery, was those last two calls when he's calling George, what was that, on March 26th? What was that? Monday or something? Uh, whatever. Yeah, and he's asking George if he wants to come in on Tuesday or Wednesday, which is uh, like the 27th or 28th, to meet with, uh, um, what's his name, Bertie, Bernie De La Rianda, the prosecutor. And he wants to know if he can come in, and his main concern seems to be, do you have representation? Do you have a lawyer? And George tells him, no, I don't have a lawyer, and then, yeah, sure, I can come out there. Uh, I'm not you know, sure how long it'll take me. Wednesday will probably be better, something to that effect. So Serena's like, yeah, well, let me call the prosecutor back, give him the info, and then I'll call you back tomorrow. And calls back the next day. He's like, all right, George, yeah, they'll meet you. Well, that's kind of odd, man. I mean, why? First of all, what's Serena doing there? I thought this got turned over to a new investigators. So what's he doing there? First of all, that's my first question. Second question is, is what? Why are they meeting with him without uh, representation? And this, you know, it was just sort of mentioned a little bit in the bond hearing, from what I remember, that this was just, though, that was, what, April 10th, when or whatever, he got arrested, and it was April 9th, those other lawyers announced that they were dumping George and they made reference to how George had was trying had ta having meetings with them or something, or attempting to. And Omara said, "Did George try to call you?" He's talking to Gilbreth, and they, he's like, "Well, he didn't call me. He called the, at the state's attorney's office, right? I was just there." But that that's as far as the questioning went. So I mean, what's what what's the prosecutor doing? Very odd behavior, I think. But I never get answers to my other questions either. Like, how is it the state can lie about witness number two right there on stand? How can they do that? I mean, clearly that's lying. So, but they do it anyways, and nobody seems to be able to answer me on how it is that they can do that. I don't know. Who knows? Sereno, Sereno, where you been so long? Hmm. Let's see. Hopefully, Chief Lee will come out and start flapping his gums. Alright, so that's it for now. <laughs>